A year ago, the Gliders Gym in Covina, California was a bit less colorful. Coaches Beth and Steve Rybacki have seen baby Lexi turn the gym into her own personal playground. And it is here, too, that a new generation of American gymnastics has been born. For at age 16, Vanessa Atler and Jamie Dancher are together shifting the national balance of power. They probably spend more time together than, their own sister than with their own sisters or brothers or their own family members. And probably more time yeah. with us than their own parents do. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and they're very compatible. It makes yeah. you feel more comfortable because you're with somebody that you know and you've been together. Instead of feeling all alone, it's kind of sometimes it's hard to go to meets without each other. Yeah. Because I mean, just being not in like the hotel, hotel, you know, away yeah. from your family. I mean, when you have your friend there, I mean, and your best friend, it's like makes it you know, really reassuring. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> way better. It makes your nerves kind of go down a little bit if we can, you know, look at each other and give us, like, give each other a little bit smile or something, you know, or make a joke or something. They connected almost immediately when they met at their old gym. She came in to try out, and I just remember <laughs> she had, like, her long braid in her hair, and we were sitting <laughs> like there stretching. <laughs> we were both nine, and she yeah. was stretching, and I was, like, all scared to come up because I had to be in their group, and then I, like, just sat down stretching real high, like that, real high. Yeah. <laughs> Two years later, their coach sent them to Beth Rybacki for choreography. They found Beth understood the meaning of no fear, the meaning of girl power. So the girls never left. Snap, snap, snap! The last one was better. You gotta be more aggressive in what you're doing. More oomph every time you go. This is gonna make you stronger. At age 14, gymnastics phenomenon Beth Ann Klein was good enough to stretch the imagination. An American Olga? An American Nadia? We've seen tapes, tapes of her before. And yeah, I've read things about how good she was. And I kind of wish that I like watched her before, you know, yeah. like before I knew her. That would have been even cooler. <laughs> but the 1980 Moscow Olympic boycott left Beth's dream in tatters. 20 years later, both her protégés are pointed toward 2000. It's probably a way of her, like, kind of, not like living through us, but, you know, like, she wants us to go to the Olympics, kind of, I mean, for us, but, you know, she missed that, you know, and she, I think she really wants to. Yeah, to take someone there, or both of us there, would be, like, um, almost finishing her dream. My life, it's not like it will come to any closure, whether I go or not. It would be cool to walk in opening and closing ceremonies, I must say, though. But um, it's their dream now, and it's my job to help them get there. For the moment, the Olympics must wait. Baby Lexi is hungry again. <laughs>